This week's episode brought to you by me. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm coming on tour, baby. This weekend, I'm going to San Jose, Santa Rosa, and Redding in California. Uh, where Leslie's from, by the way. Yeah. Uh, Dayton, Ohio on April 25th, April 26th, and 27th in Lexington, Kentucky, who just lost their uh, Coach Calipari. R.I.P. Yeah, Sorry to bring that up. Tough loss. Uh, May, we're coming to Lincoln, Nebraska, Des Moines, and Grand Forks, North. Dakota, rounding out the tour in June, Williamsport, PA, Baltimore, Newark, New Jersey, New Haven, Connecticut, Portland, Tacoma, and Spokane, baby. What up, dog? What's up, man? We out here. Uh, oh, yeah, episode 103. Yeah. Let's go. And, dude, dude, white background. Yeah, what do you think? You like it? Yeah, I love it. People, are gonna, look. people have turned on the YouTube. It's and popping like, off. Something's different. You know what we should do? What's that? We should see. We should see because we can change it up a little bit too. Oh yeah. We should see if people like Ooh. it with a, a yellow background. Oh yeah. We're gonna get some. Uh, see what they like. Or if people like it better with that with that white. White or yellow. I think those are two yeah. good choices for net positive. <laughs> Looks sleek, baby. Let us know. Comment. Let us know. Leveled up. Uh, this week's episode brought to you by Henson Shaving, baby. Henson Shaving, a family-owned aerospace parts manufacturer. Hmm. Has made parts for the ISS and Mars rover, and now they're bringing the precision engineering to your shaving experience. To and your face. And mine, by the way, yeah. because I got it. Uh, listen, the, the thing about Henson Shaving is that they're like, uh, razor blades are like diving boards, which I didn't know what that meant uh, before I got one. But uh, the longer the board, the more the wobble, baby. Wobble, that's true. Uh, the more nicks, cuts, and scrapes. A bad shave isn't a blade problem, Alex. Mm. It's an extension problem. Oh. Uh, they got precision, clog-free design, best razor in the business. I could say that for a fact. It's stainless steel sitting on my counter right now, baby. Henson Shaving wants the best razor, not the best razor business. That means no plastic, no subscriptions, no pro proprietary blades, and no plan obsolescence. It's affordable. Uh, the Henson Razor. Works with standard dual edge blades to give you that old school shave with the benefits of the new school tech. Uh, once you own a Henson razor, it's only about three to five per year to replace the blades. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Super affordable. You know, you go to some of those cities and then you can't, you can't even go to Walgreens. You can't even get some razors. That's right. They got them locked up. Yeah. Not with Henson, baby. Get them delivered to your house. Uh, <laughs> that's the selling point. Dang it. Uh, yeah. Easier to oh. access our razors. Yeah, you can easier. have them. I said yeah. baby. That's what I was reacting to. Oh, got it. As I try to get through the uh, I was excited apps. about the easily accessible oh, yeah. razors. Easy, that's not in their copy. Yeah. But they do deliver it right to your house. Yeah. It's time to say no to subscriptions and yes to a razor that will last you a lifetime. Visit HensonShaving.com slash net positive pick up your razor and use code net positive and you'll get two years worth of free blades with a razor just make sure you add them to your cart that's 100 free blades when you head to h-e-n-s-o-n shaving.com slash net positive and use the code net positive or hit the link in the episode description below baby that's what makes the pod possible yep pods like this we talked to uh leslie yeah liao yeah Comic up and coming. Fun one, dude. Hot, hot episode. Great episode. Yeah, she's hilarious. She roasted me a little too many times. She got after you a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Everybody loves that. Yeah, it's fun. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. uh, I did. I did. I was at uh, uh, the Masters. We talked about that for a little bit. Mm -hmm. For a second. Uh, I was at the Masters in Augusta, Georgia. Shout out to uh, Joan, mm. a fan, came by and said hi. What's up, Joan? Wild experience, though, because nobody had a camera. Ah, You're not allowed to have a camera in That's there. right. So they were just... Are you on the course? Yeah. Nice. No, but you're not allowed to bring a cell phone in there. Where do you put them? In your car. They you don't have like car. a check your they phone? They have a check, but you should just do. leave them in your car. Cool. But it is an unbelievable experience, man. It, it restored my faith in humanity. Wow. Dude, nobody was... There was like, you buy chairs and then you sit them out in front of the holes. And then I was like, isn't somebody going to steal your chair? And they go, no, they don't do that here. Wow. Like everybody... And I go, there's like uh, lines for like the merch and everybody's very respectful nobody even if your friend is like 15 yards ahead you don't yell at them you'll just you can't even run somebody was caught running and they got kicked out for running running because the doors open at like six and you want to get the best spots mm -hmm. someone is running kicked out how do they qualify a run like versus a speed uh, walk yeah i don't know they they just pick Probably you up knee bend I get guess, out right yeah you gotta go pop, 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 yeah. pop. uh we were in the line for merch and the guy in front of us 
somebody was trying to they went under the stanchion to get back or the friends kicked out Ooh. so there's zero grace it's don't but it's like such a out. historic like yeah place that i i was walking around i go i knew y'all knew how to act mm -hmm. like everybody knew immediately how that it's respect and that nobody like heckles players like it's the opposite of the waste management that's a really good point like, i we knew y'all knew how it. to act we do have it in us yes yeah. and, and no one had to like you go down to broadway people are there's no one drunk mm -hmm. there was no one it was just very and i go not that they don't serve alcohol yeah they serve alcohol of yeah. course they do but they go everybody and i go this, everybody just mimicked everyone else mm. and they're like well if no one else is doing it i'm not doing it mm -hmm. and it was it like it attracted a certain kind of person that was like, it was awesome, dude. I realized even this was the first year that I like paid attention. Yeah. I'm not really a golf guy, but I've yeah. been trying to kind of get into it a little bit more. Yeah. And I think uh, I think I realized that I love tradition. See, dude. I love that like, like yeah. there's something in the air to yeah. it. And like I just watched the Masters from my couch. And but it felt like, like a yeah. special weekend. And it only happens once a year. Yeah. And it's and it's like it takes so much to qualify. And it's all those like it, you read about the history. It started in like 1900 whatever. Crazy. And it's like it's been out there. The only time they stopped it was during World War II. Wow. And they used the land to graze cattle and something for to feed the soldiers or something like something oh, wow. for the beef or something insane like that to in support of the war. Speaking of beef, did you get the yeah. three dollar sandwiches? Oh, I got them all. Bro. Nice. I got them all. Do people stack up on them? Uh, well, there's there's so many food places everywhere. You just go. It's like drinks. You just let me nice. get another pimento cheese sandwich. Very cool. And they got. I was going to talk to you about this because I knew you'd like this. They got so they got in trouble. Then not in trouble, but they got exposed a couple years back for. Uh, piping in uh the bird sounds on the broadcast or at, on the course on the course no way so there's like they're like those birds aren't uh because somebody called them on it because the bird was not indigenous to that area <gasps> and a bird person goes nah this no is yes, way yes dude. i feel like there's a big crossover between bird people and masters fans oh, too yeah. so they should have yeah. known that that was gonna so, be yeah called. somebody's like that's a that's a, a, a blue-tailed whatever and that's yeah. only in the northeast or something like that good for them but i go I go, they're like, they piped in these bird sounds. I go, I'm good with it. Yeah. I'm great with it. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Also, this grass is not really that green. <laughs> hey, you know what? Also, under this, there's an aeration where they sprinkle, they put sprinklers on this green every night. Is that okay? Like, I was like, what, what level of authenticity do you need? Yeah. I go, it's like some of the grass is like, it, they spray paint it yeah, green. For sure. Yeah. And under all these fairways, there is drainage systems. It's, is that okay? Right. Or like what level? I got the, 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 we've got onto people that, that with church the same way like, where they're manipulating us. I go, right. yeah. They do that at every concert. They put the lights down. They put a smoke machine on. They put some hype music. Yeah. That's, you pay for that experience. So the Masters is basically like it's as much of a production as Disney World is. Yeah. It's like, it's like, rich white guy disney where i don't nice. know put, no, yeah. or like a, yeah. affluence i don't know what it they wouldn't even call it that because i mean it's expensive to go there but yeah and it's so exclusive too yeah it might be now that I, like <laughs> now get, that just getting get, get on the course is nuts man that's i awesome. haven't i've never been on it I, I just turned 40 that's so cool and i just now got on and i live an hour from there yeah two hours from there that's so cool somebody was like well the masters they pipe in i go I'm great with it. Yeah, please do. I'm great with it's it. All, it's half the reason I like having it on the TV, by the way, too. It's it just sounds beautiful. good in my living room. It looks good. Like, I'm just yeah. sitting there dozing in and out of sleep. Like the like the Atlanta Falcons got in trouble for piping in crowd noise. That is a competitive advantage. Right. That's different. Mm -hmm. This is an experiential. They're like, oh, they invested more time and more money to make you have a better time? <laughs> sounds good. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, that's why the tickets cost what they do. Sir. Yeah. I'm great with it. <laughs> if it yeah. was just an open field, it'd be a lot cheaper. Yeah. You it, it, like, oh, oh, somebody also said the conspiracy is like, the, the, like people running, people getting drunk, people heckling. Yeah. You, there are like, uh, they're like moles as fans. Cause like they're trying so, to egg on people? No, to try to catch people. If you do say something, if there's a, fan but oh, works there the more i hear this the more the masters is kind of communist that's what yeah. this is kind of sounding like it's, it's a little communist. bit yeah. like there's a lot of rules yeah everything's yeah. really affordable but yeah. like it's not the best and we tell on each other and <laughs> if you mess up you just disappear and you never come back and you never come back and no oh, one asks questions and if you're if you are a member you wear a green jacket 
Mm, so there's uniforms involved. Oh, yeah, there's also <laughs> uniforms involved. Yeah. And I don't think that for until like a couple years ago, they didn't allow women in. So. Yeah, or minorities. So, <laughs> yeah, this, uh, okay. There's some other European than that, nations listen, like this. Yeah. Other than that. Yeah. <laughs> but you do want to, you do want to like the tradition of it, you want to keep. Yeah. For as long as you possibly can. No, so, I love it. I think it's cool. So, like the cell phones, they go, well, you should, you should let people have cell phones. Mm -hmm. And you go, ah, I'm good with it. Yeah. He, but it like you got to go to this phone bank and like call somebody if you need to like meet up with someone. I would do that just to say I did it. That's pretty Which cool. Is cra I don't even know us phone number. Yeah, I, you got to write I know it down. Three. That's it. I thought I was going to be struggling without my cell phone. I thought it was great. Yeah, it's nice. I didn't man. need it once. Good for you, dude. I love that. Uh, speaking of though, yeah, that was a diatribe. My bad. Yeah, the episode. Uh, Leslie, right. uh, thrilled to have her in the we. I Nashville Comedy Fest is going on all these next two weeks. So we uh, reached out because I'm not going to be in town because I'm going to be on the road. Mm -hmm. But uh, she has a show at Zany's tonight, which will be last night if you listen to the episode live. Right. Uh, I'm going to go by the show, by the way. Nice. Yeah. Uh, we have a, a mutual, a lot of mutual friends in the industry and we connected and uh, she's like, let me come through. And uh, we had a hilarious conversation. Yeah, it was great. She's awesome. Get into it, baby. Episode 103. Here's Leslie Liao, baby. It's a positive. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, net positive episode what? 103, John. 103. How does it feel? I'm honored. Uh, episode 103. 103. I know she, how I was meaningful like, hey, that is. It's this a big is one. Not, I know how big of a deal milestone, this is. Milestone, the 103rd episode. I, she said 100. She goes, I don't. I want to wait. <laughs> I want to wait. Leslie Liao is here. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, baby. Happy to have you. From uh, Netflix, yep. The Tonight Show, yep. and most importantly, her greatest credit, uh, part of the Nashville Comedy Festival. Big time. Yeah. I'm in Nashville today. <laughs> yeah, that's the first time. Yeah. Oh, Welcome. yeah. Thank you. No, do you have to do, you know how you do like when you go to different cities, you got to figure out what, what the people like, what kind of jokes they like in the certain cities. Uh, I don't care for that. You just do what you, you're I like. I do what I do. Yeah, I, like I do that. just jokes about. Asia? No, yeah. I, I don't. <laughs> Exclusively. Um, I'm here. I, I don't care about your city. Because like everyone to. does that, right? Like Everybody you, does. You do a quick wiki search on the town. Yeah. Sometimes I like to look up like the ra the racial uh, makeup of the town <laughs> and see if my crowd reflects that. <laughs> they won't tonight, I assure you. <laughs> you don't no. think so? <laughs> Let's see. Well, what kind of crowd I'll are I'll let they? you guys know. I have no idea. Oh, yeah. But no, what is your crowd is what I'm saying. Depends on the city. Mm. Toronto was so many Asians. Oh, DC, yeah. so many Asians. So some big cities, a lot of Asians, and then a lot of white people. So I sometimes, uh, I like to do a little uh, census survey. In yeah, the, that's what you do up front. Just yeah. stand up if you're Asian. I do. I, I make yeah. people. Yeah. It, it's yeah. actually part. It's actually part of my hour where I <laughs> make. Like, I do yeah. roll call by oh, yeah. like race. Oh yeah. And everyone's like, "Are you serious?" And I'm like, "I'm serious." Like I want. I'm dead serious. Like I want to know what my what my. I do that in my are. show with the uh, denominations of Christianity. Like, Ooh. are there any Catholics here? Are there any Baptists? Are there yeah. Pentecostals? And then you can do so much material. On yeah. It. See, yeah. you can do all the Asian material. Um, but you're not, that's not, I wouldn't consider myself like a Christian comedian. Uh, but I know all that right, stuff. Right, right, right. You know all the stuff. I don't know a lot of stuff. No, that's the trick right. with me. I'm not, I don't know a lot. <laughs> that's good, probably, yeah. for comedy. I'm just going to out myself. I don't know. I know a little things about a lot of stuff. That's good. That's probably for the best. Yeah. I just dip my toes in. Yeah, we feel like we know too much. There's too much TikTok. You do? Yeah. It is too much TikTok. What what does that sentence even mean? Yeah. John, you're right. It is too much TikTok. <laughs> well, you get in there. No, you get in there. I'm glad like, someone said it. I yeah. don't need to know about You know, you see like some kind of like boat that's capsized and like the other side of it. And then you're like, this is, I don't you know. Has nothing to do with it. So me. I actually don't consume TikTok. I don't even have the app on my phone. That's for the best. Because I, because you know, yeah. yeah. So it, it changes your. Well, schedule. I got your number now, so I'll text you. So you'll just send me the <laughs> yeah. uh, your I'll feed say, every day. I'll send you the stuff. <laughs> we'll get you there. Don't worry. Give it time. <laughs> but what I get it. It's it's great. Instagram. Uh, I have Instagram, and that takes enough time. I have the yeah. Target app on my phone. It's That's a great good. app. That's good. Shout out to Target. Shout out to Target. Like sure. Yeah. Well, my buddy has a. Uh, he has his wife set him like a timer so he can only be on Instagram for like an hour a day. Is there a separate app that times you on I yours? think it times on Instagram it times you, doesn't it? Yeah, they have their own. And then it says you're almost, yeah. you're almost out of uh, time. Mm -hmm. And they then you can just override everything. it. Yeah. Like Fuck. every app, every activity, a conversation. White guys Ooh. with podcasts. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> enough. Yeah. Hey. 2x speed. Yeah. Let's get through enough. this. Enough. Yeah. Enough. Yep. Enough mansplaining. Yep. Yep. Well, we grew, well I, went, I, I lived in Santa Monica for a long time. 
Did you like it? Is that where? I live in LA. I lived on the West Side. Uh, That's why I saw what you go to the uh, that Santa Monica, that comedy club down there. I know. I yeah, like. Did you like? So it? do I, dude. I, I love that it. Wait, what do you mean you liked it? You don't live there anymore. Uh, so I live in LA, but not not in Santa Monica. Oh, too big for it. No, but uh, don't go over there anymore. This is this is what I predict predicted would happen with me in LA. It's like in my early twenties, I lived in Santa Monica because yeah. that was like the cute, fun. Early, yeah, yeah, that's the time, like and 10 years ago. It's a, yeah, ish, yeah, yeah. And it's like a, it's a good spot for like the day drinking is like by the beach. So that's all oh, you yeah, do in your 20s. On the pier. Yeah. Yeah. Like you don't have anything to do. You don't have errands. <laughs> I think this is an LA thing, but yeah. Really, oh, maybe it is. You just wake up and you're like, who wants to party? And then you yeah, just no, go like, to Santa Monica. No, dude, you've been to Broadway. You know what it's like. Yeah, we, oh, yeah, we have that here. here. Yeah, well, just, Nashville has become that. Yeah, we just don't yeah. have the waterfront. Well, there's to go no, with it. there's no like day drinking scene here. Oh, there is. There has to be. Yeah, there's oh, sure yeah, is. yeah. There's day drinking. Those rooftops sure. are never empty. Yeah, in the summer. Oh, rooftop vibe. We yes. love the rooftop summer. vibe. In yeah. the summer. What's that? The Whaler right out there? Yeah. Oh, no. Shout out yeah. to the Whaler. I used to. I used another to another sponsor. I put out some good uh, alcoholic numbers yeah. at the Whaler. Yeah. <laughs> so you like. Do we clap? Oh, we don't. My we jersey's don't hanging oh, the <laughs> at, the, at the Whaler. Dude, yeah. If I name drop you and go there, will they just no, like. they'll kick oh. you out. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, oh, is that the guy Is the guy with his photo on the wall? That it, Who's banned? Yeah, it's not to come back here. Um, what a did place. You, did you like living in Santa Monica? Um, it was – all right. So I was like – I moved out there because my agent at the time was like, you got to get in. I was like just too obsessed with stand-up. Mm -hmm. And he was like, you got to get in a movie. Otherwise, you're never going to be successful. And then I was like, all right. So I this moved out there. This is way pre-social media, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> or not pre well, – like before like people would pop on social media. like right. like. Then yeah, I started yeah. putting these videos on social media, and then like all of a sudden there was like Des Moines, like, Iowa, two thousand <laughs> tickets, and I was like, "Oh, I'm, yeah. I'll just go out there." Yeah. And then I had to fly five hours every Monday and Thursday, so I was like, "This is too far." Yeah. Because I, I don't. Yeah. My fans aren't really in LA. Um, but how do you know that? I guess we do know that. Mm. It's a creepy. Well, we can sell less tickets, but they are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're there. They just don't. You like know, they have the 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 Instagram back to it. They will tell you where all people are watching uh, your videos. I, th I think there is a way to look. Yeah, there is. Like where they all live. Alex should know that. Uh, it's so creepy. What's he doing? Shout out yeah. to Alex, my Hollywood manager. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> and he used to work at Brillstein. That's crazy. That I true? did, yeah. Is that a secret information? It's not. Know? It's on my LinkedIn. That's where I'm, I work You're for them. You're at I work for them, yeah. You work for them? Yeah, I work for – that's what I like to say. But they're I, like, no, they no, don't like they to work say, for like, you, dude. Let's go. That's how Hollywood works. Oh, yeah. Um, all right, all good. Yeah, it's well. It is the uh, like. What's interesting about LA is we just we just watched all the footage from. Uh, we like to watch all those uh, clips from uh, Coachella. It was oh, last week. Oh, so I I didn't keep up. But what did, what did it look like? You didn't go. So I didn't go. I used to go a lot of my 20s because it was like the oh, thing yeah. and he had like a crew of friends. You get a house and stuff. I like I, how you're like, I'm in my 30s now. I'm more mature. I'm just- I got to put all these old ways behind me. No more day drinking. No more Coachella. To be clear, I would love to go to Coachella. Yeah. But you know with the schedule, it's like the one weekend you're free. Do you oh, want to yeah. go to Coachella? No. So for me, no. You know? It's like, such a like a, it's so hard to like do. It's like a- It takes, it takes so much- emotion out of you and yeah, you, you can't go tour the next weekend you have to like recover yeah you gotta recover because you're you gotta gonna stay out there a night yeah a you stay there for like six days no. uh Ew. i mean because i mean you gotta get there yeah you gotta get there you, maybe the night before it starts then yeah. you like recover from the last night it's like all this stuff bring some drugs yeah in your 20s not in your not more to be clear yeah, yeah i've evolved to be clear but i also would love to go i just didn't have the Energy. I went to um, the Republican version of Coachella. Stagecoach. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you you said know, it, yeah, you know. No. Well, how was that? It was awesome. Did you, was it and it's not the Republican version of Coachella. That's a joke. But, but how did I it. guess it right away? <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, Been in Nashville five minutes. <laughs> nah, was, you yeah. didn't get it. Oh, yeah, you'll be just fine tonight. <laughs> yeah. You'll be just fine. Yeah. But uh, it's crazy. It's like the weekend right after Coachella, I believe. It's coming up, isn't Stage it? Stagecoach. Uh, yeah, Stagecoach is coming up. Are you guys going? I can't go because I'm touring. I have been once before, and it was. It's yeah, awesome. it's so. It's it's like how far is it to get to? Three hours, four hours from LA. Three four. hours, no traffic. Yeah, so it's yeah. for yeah, it's it's the next weekend. So you got to yeah. drive out there. Yeah. So if you go that night, let's say you drive out there, it's forever to park. And I remember walking for forever. Forever. Yeah. Yeah. I also hate going to stuff that's like you have to plan the entire day in the morning. 
Like there's no checkpoint. You don't get to go back oh, to home base. You, you don't have to get bring to get everything. You don't get you need to check the into the hotel. Time. Yes. No, you, you just, have to you, be there. Yes. Yeah, you gotta, I, I hate know that enough. stuff. That's so anxiety. That's the but. thing. That's the thing that you, you're like, we, we don't have energy for this. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. why would you want to leave? Like, do you need to leave and go to like CVS in between? Tim McGraw and like, or maybe like you just use, stay. Oh yeah, you'll fit right in in Nashville. <laughs> maybe you like see that drop, that toilet. Tim McGraw see, I drop. Know yeah. 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 What did you want to go see Tim McGraw? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. And you're like, oh, I do want to go see Tim McGraw. Yeah, I do, yeah. Well, pull that. Do you have that clip of uh of uh we saw a clip of Leo? Yeah. Going in to Coachella. Yeah, I want to. Yeah, I want to catch up. I haven't seen this is Leo okay, and Ari DiCaprio. I've been to that party, Neon Carnival. You have? Yeah. What is it at Coachella? All so, right, so that's that's him in the mask there. In the black hat. Is this the entire video? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Why does it say watch till the end? This is a scam. Oh, well, it's that's the end. Yeah, I think that, that's the only thing. I Because my thought was like, do you want to be seen or not? Okay, I won't believe it. Who's going to show oh, up? I'm I think apparently it's one of not going to uh, believe it. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> he puts his he hood, put up. The hood up. <laughs> yeah. Let me guess. Who would I not believe? I don't think, I don't know. I don't know who showed up after the Leo. That's the way the video of Leonardo DiCaprio showing up at Coachella with a hood and a mask and um, so nobody could recognize him. But it's confusing. See, it was a trick. It was yeah, a trick. Was a what trick. was that picture of? That's why you're right for not being on TikTok because it says watch Jeff Bezos. Clearly, that can't oh, be Oh, so it. this is the video. Yeah. Is this still the same video? Yeah. Jeff Bezos. I got to Yeah. You know what you need to do? I feel like when we go, we'll, we'll do all, we'll have all uh, hat Matt. so we're like that's got to be someone way bigger than our level so we should disguise ourselves as but they're Leo like and jeff bezos and then they take their hats <laughs> off we're like we're just us so. they're so rich that like a video of them walking how many views does that have probably gajillion just a video yeah. of them walking yeah has that was not entertaining at all no but you yeah you've 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 uh crossed this bridge do people recognize you yet or no uh yeah it's oh, yeah. happening now yeah i don't love it it's no you don't it's it i feel uh because it scares me mm. <laughs> like like people just people go up to you and they stare at you right yeah they don't they know what stare to do. at you to calculate do i know this person yes i do who how do i know how them? yeah yeah. so yeah, they yeah. stare at you for moments and then and they go i've seen that face before yeah oh yeah, yeah. and sometimes they just say something not even a compliment. They'll just say, oh, I know you. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. Now, what race was that voice? <laughs> I Can you please cut that out? I don't know why I said, I don't know why I did that accent. <laughs> no, I don't think it was any accent. Was, who was that? What was that? It? it was like, I know you. Oh, I <laughs> know you. Like... That's Nashville. Yeah, you fit right in. No, but uh, yeah, sometimes it's just scary. Your girl from TV. Yeah. yeah. I seen you on my, my phone. At not yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Well, uh I thought I thought this. Tell me if you think this is correct or not. I said any artist, any artist, which I would consider ourselves to be, or a musician, right, or an actor, they like to do the thing, right? So they like to make the art, whether it's play music, make jokes, and then mm -hmm. the the celebrity was a side effect or a byproduct of that. Maybe it'll let you know how good you're doing or how well you're doing. But people are just mm -hmm. famous, like that's the end goal. Yeah. Like someone that doesn't make anything or doesn't do any yeah. art. They're just like, they're just existing. They just are known. Then then be, fame has to be the product. Ugh. I, That's I, tough. Yeah. I feel that because I just, I never wanted any, it, being famous or known is such a side effect to all this. Like yeah. I never wanted that. Like, I don't want, I don't, like, it's, it's awesome. You know, we have people like go see you at shows and stuff, yeah. but it's like, I never want to go in a coffee shop and feel people are staring at you. Yeah, like that's yeah. when I'm writing jokes at home. I'm like, I can't wait for someone you to. You write on a, with a pen and paper? Uh, no, I'm just miming to make sure oh, the camera knows. Oh yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey look, in this, look in this camera. Look in this camera. Yeah, yeah. where am I looking? I'm like looking at the ceiling. Like, do you, like do you see that? Like someone goes, wait, you're writing jokes? Everybody, everybody's lost. They go, what do you mean writing jokes? Like this. Oh. oh okay. yeah. Do they get, yeah. Make sure you edit it. You're writing jokes. Um, it's a side, yeah, it's a side effect. Yeah, because you just like to do the thing. I just like I to do the thing. I just want to do yeah. comedy. I and now, just, yeah, yeah, same. But the we like uh, I was joking with I think my girlfriend we got invited to a celebrity like uh, softball tournament or something like that, mm -hmm. and then we get invited back the next year. I go, this is great, but one year they're gonna be like, hey, no more. Oh, you're gonna get disinvited. I, but that's everything. So like, this is cool to like 
be a part of. But like, if that I go, I can't put any stock in any of this other stuff. Because like, how do you think you're gonna feel the year you get not invited? Yeah, it's gonna be. I'm gonna be you like kept the weekend open all year for that, and then so it, the invite just doesn't come. <laughs> just, you're like, wow, I got nothing to do this weekend. Uh, but do you play softball or do you like no, watch softball? It doesn't even matter. Yeah. If I no, I mean, so, I, oh. I played it when I was like in high school. Oh, so you guys just go like watch a game? No, we go play and like all the country artists and like right, right, right. Yeah. They we play and then people watch us play. It's like a benefit game. Also, thing. yeah, they might disinvite you because maybe you're not that good. I'll, I like to. That would be a better way to do it. Is that that could be? I was in a band when I was in high school, and Sick. then they told us they told me the band was breaking up, and then they I saw that they had a show. <laughs> oh, that's amazing! <laughs> like the next week. Why couldn't they just tell you the truth? That, I know they knew. <laughs> Dang, That's amazing. Dude. What's the band I've, name? Uh, nice. What was our band name? Uh, three Alarm Fire. <laughs> oh, nice, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's nice. Wait, Three, three alarm. alarm Fire, meaning like the fire's so hot. Yeah, the it fire. Sets wait, off what's three a four alarm fire? Yeah, three of how many? How many alarms are there? How, what's the most? You tell me. Four Alarm Fire. Wait, there's a limit? Yeah, there's like a three alarm, four alarm, five alarm fire, I think, because there's like something depends on what is bad happening. Oh, like this is a phrase for like third degree burn, fourth. Yeah, I didn't five know. alarm, five alarm, five fire. is the highest. So you guys were I, right I, on average. Wait, so you, three alarm. Fire. You didn't even. Okay, so five is the hottest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you guys were so not confident <laughs> that you gave. You, you might as well be named C minus. Why have I been roasted? <laughs> like what is? What are you later. talking about? Three alarm C-. fire. C alarm. Yeah. Why, why can't you just? It's a made up name. You could have just, just gone go. For we should have gone. Just go for it. Yeah, it's not even real. Should have just gone all the way. <laughs> Somebody tell Hudson Phillips. We should have just gone all the way. Um, Hudson Phillips with the name drop out of yeah, nowhere. That's the name. <laughs> what was your uh, part in the band? What, what I was uh, the drummer. Oh, I I really want to learn to drum. Oh yeah, I was yeah. The drummer. Yeah. That's a great because it's it's so visual. Yeah, do but, it for uh, the camera. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's so visual. <laughs> no, like like uh, you gotta have hobbies. Yeah. If you see notes like musical notes, yeah. I look at the. I'm like, what are these dots? Yeah, but you I see the drum was, kit. Yeah. It's kit or set. Yeah, drum, drum kit. No, you got it. Right, yeah, drum kit yeah. drums out. Uh, you can see it and know what sound yeah. they make. Well, you got to do something because, you know, when you're out, if you go to the, these towns that we're in for like three days, you're just sitting in a Hampton Inn. So what do you do? You bring That's a drum That's what I'm saying. Kit. What do you do? I, I, love to ju- I love to be by myself. And well, I, you're by yourself at home, um, aren't you? I have, I have That's friends. A, nah, my like, bad. Nah, how do you know my home? How do you know my personal? That's you're like personal. you're always alone, right? Oh, you're alone you're alone. always alone. You have no support system in LA. Do you not? No, I only because I saw some. I saw some of your act, and you talk about that. That's why. Yeah. Oh, I do. Yeah, uh, yeah. So many of my Don't stuff. Try is to like, pin me. A, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it's all very public. Yeah. But um, no, because when I when you're in a new city, like it's it's kind of nice. Like you don't yeah. have like so many social plans and a million things. It's like, nothing. it's, it's like yeah. you have nothing and how often do you get that? So yeah. I like to just sit, stare at my set. You stare know. at your set? Yeah, my set, yeah. try to write, attempt yeah. to write, you know, yeah. while you have the time. Well, if you're at home, see, I always thought this when you're at home and you're doing nothing, you feel bad because you're like, I should be working, but we are working on the road at night, so we don't feel bad. I never feel bad on the road. I'm like, yeah. every minute is working. Even yeah, when working. the moment I wake up, I'm like, I'm I'm working. What are we doing? But I, yeah. uh, I like to go to a coffee shop. Yeah, and sit there. Well, they don't want to take that from you because once you get if you get uber famous, then you can't do that anymore. You're gonna have to. They have to come to oh, the hotel. Somebody's gonna have to bring it to you. Then we gotta open up our own coffee shop. We do for. Famous people. Yeah, LA doesn't have any of those. So uh, we need more. <laughs> yeah. We need more. That's why I like LA though, because there's so many pe- fa- famous people, whatever, that it's like people don't care. It's kind of nice. You just walk around oh, yeah. and no one freaks out. It's oh, I forgot nice. about that because you've always been in LA. I, I lived there for like 20 years. So you don't have like a hometown there. to be like, she, we started her because you're it from would, LA. It would just be like LA, I guess. Yeah, always. But it's, which is yeah. fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Would your parents immigrated here? They did to to not to see Nashville. All this, see all this research. To, done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very nice, John. We see it. We see yeah, it. Yeah, he he FaceTimed my parents to <laughs> actually. That's how he researched you. <laughs> What's sure. up? Your daughter is coming through. Yeah, they're like, "Who are you, sir?" What? But um, what they immigrated? They they came from Taiwan and then went to Utah and then to. to that's the best transition. Yeah, yeah. Taiwan to Utah, fast track. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> We're going to the middle. Distinct yeah. difference. Oh, yeah. And they were like, this is America. <laughs> they like went to Utah, then went to Orange County to have me. 
So I grew up in Orange County, yeah, California. Yeah, that's price for that's probably for the best. Yeah. You go straight to Utah and you go, this is not on the brochure. Yeah. So I did not grow up in Utah. I don't know how I would have turned out. You don't gonna claim Utah. I feel very uh I feel very SoCal. Yeah. Though. Yeah, that's a place for you. I think that's a place for you because everybody's there. Yeah. yeah. Nah. Well, being out on the road, how long have you been on the road? Like four years? Um, no, I just started like last year officially. Oh, going on the road, but you've been doing comedy. I've been doing comedy for seven years, but officially started like doing a tour last oh, yeah. year. And you just got back from the UK. I was in London. But also like touring is not built for like a woman in her 30s. Now, let me break that down. Let me think about that means. <laughs> mansplain that for us, John, real quick. Oh, if you could. Yeah, mansplain my thought to me, John. Yes. I, I should go. <laughs> tell her what she means. I should go. Tell us more about it. I go, let me think about that. Yeah, like, yeah. Let me. Let me see. Let what me it. interpret your woman thoughts <laughs> and make them make sense. <laughs> well, look at, hey, what she's saying is, you know, it's not what built for. What do I mean a, by that, John? I don't it's not understand. built for a woman in her 30s. <laughs> it's like, uh, I, I'm, I'm a. 37 year old woman who lives in LA. Okay. I, I, you can picture what type of like hotel I like or, you know, like. No, I'm not going to generalize you like that, but. I, okay, I'm, I will, I will. I'm open. I'm opening it up. No, I will. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I pictured the, the kind of hotel. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, you know, eating mozzarella sticks at midnight. It's like, I can't. Oh, so you're saying that's what guys do. That, that I, now I'm generalizing. We do and do I, and that. I proudly yeah, you're right on. No, you're really you're right on. Yeah, we do. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, I'm trying to get some mod sticks after I leave here. We'll wipe our hands on the sheets. We yeah. might. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Oh yeah, that's I've seen a, you guys yeah. wash your hands <laughs> in like a very air quotes. Yeah, oh. it, it, like uh, maybe like staying or like staying overnight in an airport or like so, just like the road. Yeah, it's the not road fit. Is... It's yeah, getting in Ubers. Yeah, no. All the, all kind of areas of town. Is I that what you're talking about? Yeah, like everything. Yeah. Like I don't like I don't love being in Ubers for so long. Like I like yeah. I don't know. And I like I just like a, a a cute little hotel. Yeah. I like a I like a nice situation. Yeah, Airbnb or no? Um I just p- go wherever they tell me. Yeah. You know, right. <laughs> like whatever they whatever building I'm in. Here we are. Yeah. Um, well, I saw the uh the, the, I, I watched your uh, Tonight Show special, their Tonight Show set. Oh, thank which you. Which is great. Thank you. I thought, I didn't see, did I see it on this, or he said, it, oh yeah, I think he said it in there. He said, uh, I'm already saying I'm attracted to men, but I'm not. Oh yeah. You um, say it. I said, um, I, I'm I, attracted to men, but I don't find men attractive. <laughs> Yeah. And that what, makes sense, right? No, yeah. Okay. Versus what exactly you're saying right here. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And I every time I did that joke, <laughs> I, I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> I, I I'm grateful that you guys, if you think it's funny, because it's like Are well, men mad at that? What I was worried about that. Nah. Because whenever I would say it, I'm basically saying like you guys don't try hard enough and like they all would laugh at shows. So I'd be like, okay. Yeah, the guys, guys would laugh at that. They yeah, get it, yeah, yeah. you know? Because like, we know we don't. We don't try. <laughs> Yeah, we don't you, try. Uh, well, you guys try, but not to the extent that women do. You yeah. try to like look good. Yeah, like a little bit of effort into like cleanliness, appearance, yeah, hygiene. That's probably fair. And you, you guys try, but we try. We have like we detail and oh, stuff. Yeah. So it's just it's a different league. If women are at a five, we're at a three alarm. Yeah, that's, yeah, we're five. <laughs> yeah, alarm. five alarm. Some of you are two. Yeah. Five alarm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as you if get that, older, you get four or five. Sure, or whatever, we can. But, we can. Yeah. You know, you know, like a guy like Leonardo DiCaprio who would just, or you wouldn't be like that guy, because he just looks like a he just put on jeans and a t-shirt and left his house. But he tries, but I think just because he has money. Oh uh, yeah, and that's not fair. I feel like you should be able to try with not having Leo money. Yeah, well, not finding a guy like you find you attracted to men, but not finding men attractive is like that's the the men are fit for being on the road by themselves. <laughs> yeah, because because you know, like how like. I get ready for a show. Like I put on makeup, oh, yeah. right? See, we don't do I that. I plan my outfits. Great point. Like, how do you? This do is you embarrassing. Just look in the mirror. I wore the same outfit all weekend, all three shows. No way. <laughs> it's like <laughs> no way. Somebody said on my Instagram. No way. Did you wear the same outfit? Same shirt. Same. <laughs> yes. You don't even switch a t-shirt. No. 
Why? I switched for the meet and greet. I switched a t-shirt for the meet and greet. What the fuck? Like it's your wedding? <laughs> did like you, wear you have the an same? outfit change for the meet and greet? Did you wear the same meet and greet oh, outfit every night? Because you're cheating because that's where the Why photos. Is that cheating? Because that's where they take photos as a yeah, meet and greet. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they take photos. So when <laughs> people post photos, it looks like, oh, he changed his shirt. Yeah, but during the show, I'm not they're not allowed to take photos. <laughs> yeah, so it exactly. looks like I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't I didn't try very hard. But don't you feel like if a guy is like very, very attractive or like muscular, it's harder to do jokes. It's harder to be a comedian because they want to like be like, this guy's a bomb. Oh, oh. Um, Isn't that like a philosophy? I think it's uh, honestly, I just think it's harder because it's distracting to look at a very attractive person mm -hmm. in general. Yeah, because you're like if like Matt Rife, they're just like, take your clothes off. Yeah, you just look at him. You're like, how do you look like that? So you're not only you're only half yeah. listening. So you got to be ugly. And they were like, let me listen to what this <laughs> You got to be says. like three yeah, you gotta be alarm. <laughs> three alarm hot. Three yeah, alarm three alarm hot, hot is prime. Yeah, three for, alarm hot. Because yeah, then yeah. They'll, they'll easily listen to you. But if anyone's really attractive, even if like some like, I don't know, like the receptionist or anyone, anyone you see. You're just like. My barista. I'm like, what the f if like they're a, the hottest. Yeah. And you're just like, you just stare. Hey, what's your like confirmation number? And you're just like, <laughs> what? <laughs> guy or girl, also. I've seen some guys and like with the, like their jaw, or you're just like, that's a very attractive. It's man. distracting. Yeah. yeah. You can't not. I tried to convince my girlfriend that a guy was hot. I was like, this is an attractive man. Why yeah. were you doing that? I don't know. You're like, you should go for him. <laughs> no, you, I was like, this guy's hot. <laughs> She's like, no, he's not. I go, this guy, you telling me this guy is not hot. I don't but it wasn't good, her. Wasn't her type. No, it was like a, it was. I don't know what it was. Like a, somebody in a, in a like a valet or something. I go. That's a very attractive valet. She were goes. You, I didn't think so. Were you doing that as like a test to be like? I want to <laughs> see if she's gonna think he's hot. Well, let me think. But well, she would like that. Yeah, not to be. She wouldn't look at a guy like that. I don't think. You never like seen somebody and then you see in the, the way they. You're like, oh, other people think that that person's hot. I might have to reconsider. Yeah. Yeah. But there's different. Wait, uh, what? Everyone has their tastes. Yeah, you know how like uh, like Louis C.K. is like in his specials, he has like his shirt is like has like a stain on it. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's. But he's like not an idiot. He's smart. Yeah, that's like part of the thing. It makes like, him just everyday guy. Yeah, like you know? Tim Dillon. Or he's like I'm. Yeah, dumb. Or I'm like this guy <laughs> is not dumb. This that is was the your smartest guy. Of him. Yeah, I'm a little I'm about dumb. me. I'm dumb. <laughs> or like. <laughs> Who are the big, like the biggest, like, yeah, the big, they're like bald or you know, like fat or something like that. And you're like, yeah. this guy is, this guy can tell us the truth. But what if we go into this new Matt Rife era where everyone's just chiseled yeah. and ripped? We got to start getting some. percent body fat. Yeah. It's a new era. It's a, it could be a new era. Who you're knows? ugly. Get <laughs> out. Knows? What? Yeah. But it is, I think it, in general, like anyone who's like just so well put together, like I just, yeah, you just stare at them like, wow. So it's hard to listen. Well, what do the yeah. How long do you, do you put yourself together before the show? I mean. 30 minutes? Like almost an hour. An hour. Yeah. Like I like to, you know, do makeup and a teeny bit of hair. And I pick out different outfits. I don't oh, wear yeah. the same outfit every show. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now, which I don't know which camera at, I'm yeah. looking at. She's looking at all of them. The at this one. I'm looking at the you one don't that's wear the same one. clearly yeah, yeah. not pointing at <laughs> yeah, me at yeah. all. Yeah. Um, but, what, uh, what is the what are the um what are the biggest uh, obstacles facing single women in their thirties these days? Because we got a lot of listeners, a lot of single women listeners. Um, I mean, I am currently actually no longer single. I have oh. a boyfriend. I I, I met him breaking yeah. on the podcast <laughs> exclusive. He was like he was like we're going on the net positive. Do you want me to drop this? Yeah. Do you want me to drop this? Um, but I but I have been single for a long time in my thirties. So mm. it's a. Uh, I think it's just exhausting to like because your your standards get very no well it's not okay it's not fair to say standards get higher it's just like oh I thought you were gonna say oh, lower you're gonna go lower yeah. yeah no higher oh because you can't have time for the yeah the yeah. guy that doesn't have a job and you're twenty yeah. like sure and every Yo, yeah, standards get higher standards get higher I and I would just you know men beware women yeah. when they get older they just know what they want and mm. know what they works for them so they're yeah. like. Yeah, but I think men do too. You know, like you yeah, know, that's probably true. you know what you need, you know what you want, whatever. So it's like, I don't know. I think it's easier if you meet someone right away. You're like, you say no faster. You go, nah, we don't have to go down this whole road. Yeah, yeah. is yeah. who is the who's it? Your shows generally, I find my shows are the women that have been that have brought their husbands or boyfriends with them. Who's at your show? Oh, um, 
it's a it's a ton of like fun women that have at, yeah yeah same single and in couples yeah. all ages um and usually women who bring their their boyfriends who end up being right. like that was funny whatever like okay, I, she, she brought I me here oh, yeah. or whatever now who is this guy um uh <laughs> 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 she brought me here yeah yeah i always do like a doofus guy oh yeah um, and they're guy. always juggling. Yeah. <laughs> Who's it? She interrupted he my juggling class. <laughs> I was like, I'm the, your dumb little show. But, but then they like it. Yeah, because, yeah, I feel like the, my show is the same. Then you win them over. Yeah. Which is great. It's the best. You get some new fans. Yeah. But, uh. Well, it's, I, Ralphie May, he said, mm -hmm. the women are always the ones making the purchasing decisions. And the men. God, will, that's so true. The men will go with them. So women plan. Mm. Planning involves looking at a a calendar, and I and I've that. realized men don't really use calendars. This is what I've learned. This is generalization I've, number I've, two. I've taught, we're gonna. Look. I proudly generalize. I want all of that in the in the final cut of this. <laughs> I don't use a calendar. Yeah. <laughs> What's a calendar? But um. Um, yeah, I had to teach my boyfriend like how to use Google Calendar. Yeah, and yeah. I invite him to events, and now mm. he looks forward to concerts we have. That because so Dang, women that is true plan, and they will buy the ticket knowing that other women are also planning and buying tickets, and, and there will only don't. be so many tickets available, mm. and they want to get the good seat and put it in the calendar so you all know Friday yeah. night we have this plan, whatever. So that's actually very Dang. smart and true. It is because my girlfriend says, "Hey, put." Some so and so on your calendar for like a th and I'm like, Ugh. and then it's <laughs> a good time every time. Like you have fun. Yes, every time. See, yeah, and but I don't. I was like, hey, when is it? Like tomorrow? We planned to go to Kid Rock's show tonight. Yesterday. Oh, it's tonight. Yes, yeah, tonight. You're going head to head with Kid Rock. Oh, that's why no one's going to my show. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is is he? Oh, does he have a, a comedy thing tonight or a concert? It's Kid Rock's comedy jamboree. Oh hell yeah! Oh yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Um. Who's on the lineup? Do you know? I don't know. Well, not me, clearly. Out, yeah. But whose show is after you tonight? There's another There's, there's another show. show that I'm going to just do because it's at the yeah, same room. Dude. I'm just going to sit there. Nashville's the best. It's uh, it's the Jeremiah Watkins oh, show. Oh, Jeremiah, yeah. That's a, the nice. variety show. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just like we all freestyle a set, which I'm going to, after you do an hour, I'm like, great. Who cares? I'm just going to, yeah. Ah, that is the best. Maybe I'll just sing Ba yeah. with the Ba. All right. <laughs> And call See, it, and I then knew you, you knew about this. I knew you knew about the South. Does everybody know that song? Of course, ball everyone knows. Of course, everyone ball knows that song. Ball. Yeah, he just, he'll come out in like a full length, like mink coat. And he probably still does it to this day. He has yeah. to. He'll do some racial jokes and get out of there. Um, <laughs> is that that? Is that does that speak to Nashville? Just kidding. No, no, just Kid Rock. I think. <laughs> Wait. Okay. So your girlfriend planned tonight. Oh yeah. Well, she go. Yeah, but I'm. But I'm. In comedy, I know about, but she goes, Hey, her one of her, to your point, one of her friends, girlfriend, female said, Are you going? Knowing that she's dating me, like you guys will probably be there anyway. Yes, let's make a night out of it. And then I go, I never even thought about it, but now we're, I'm, we're going and I'm stoked. I think the premise is like women plan fun, and I, and I want to argue fun. men all like to have fun. Yeah, I think. A lot of men I know are just fun. They're fun yeah. people. They yeah. like to have fun. But women, we plan it. Hmm. And you guys are always like, I'm down. Women like to, men will just, hey, what are you doing tonight? I know. We don't do that. No, women We're not a like, that. what are you up to tonight? We're like, what are you doing right now? It's yeah. not even tonight. We won't even do <laughs> so that much crazy. advance. We'll just be like, dinner? what's up now? What are you doing? You're like, I'm in your hood. Yeah. Do you want to yeah. yeah. grab a beer? I'm like, what? If a guy called me like two weeks in advance, you're like, you want to have lunch? I'll be like, that's crazy. <laughs> Has that ever happened? To you? No. <laughs> ah, that's so crazy. <laughs> See, women, I literally like. They plan. I, I I have a date in my calendar two months from now yeah. for a lunch with two girlfriends. No way. Two months from now, we would never. Because this that. is how much a far ahead we're like. We plan like. Uh, this is this wow. is getting in your thirty. You plan catch ups. Oh yeah, to get catch. So up. all you do, you yeah. you plan you plan to talk yeah. about what you've been up to since last time since I last saw time you. Last time we talked to him, yeah. But you live in L.A. The other person lives yeah. in L.A. Yeah, yeah, we all we are in, L in L.A. We live in L.A. But then you guys are just like, I'm outside your door right now, Brian. <laughs> I you just, I, sometimes I just go to my buddy's house and just knock on their door. I'm like, I mean, what's that's up? like a sitcom. Like, what is that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what is that? Like, Kramer Kramer just <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, hey, you, guys, <laughs> you guys are all Kramer. Yeah, yeah we just are. Just coming what's in. Up? No one yeah. asks for you to come over, eating our food. Yeah. 
he just shows up. I, oh, we, I, we, I thought the uh, the part about um, I, I queued up a clip for us. The you think uh, that men that are emotional are you attracted to? You got like a guy yeah. that cries. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, so I went to the Masters on Wednesday, mm -hmm. the golf tournament, and I was such a religious experience. Mm -hmm. Here, grab those uh, headphones. <laughs> When I can you get this is a video of you crying? I hope I was trying to explain <laughs> it to my girlfriend. I started crying, and she took a video of me. Watch oh it. Yeah, okay. can you see it? Okay. Just watch it first. I've already seen. It. I already know. Wait, it. this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. My, my boyfriend god. started crying when he told me about his experience at the Masters. Yes, out of respect for the course, <laughs> oh. the turmoil he, the turmoil he went through all day battling with the course. Sign yes, of honor. General. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wait, why? I respect. Okay, I respect that. I res I respect that. Like you had an experience. I had an emotional experience. It it meant a lot to you. Yeah. Was the thing that made you emotional at the Masters like what was there a particular? Do we call them players? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so one of the I was trying to explain the course is so like. What if he starts crying, <laughs> reminiscing about this moment that he was crying? I've got that. <laughs> so, there was a, a Hideki Matsuyama. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, he won two years ago, maybe three years ago, and his caddy. So the caddy's out there saying we should a four iron, we should a three iron. Uh, this l goes a little bit right to left, and he finally won and the caddy after winning shook everybody's hand turned around took his head off and bowed to the course is that what made you wow because he the was first like time i'm hearing what like this all, is about i it, didn't i never knew what the actual what you were crying yeah. about and i yeah he, it was like a sign of like respect to the course of all he had been through with that oh, course wow. for the last week and battling with it and like when there's like rain it slows down when there's no rain it goes faster when there's wind when there's sand he was like yeah. me and this course have like been on this like hallowed ground journey together yeah. and i tried to explain that to my girlfriend i started crying <laughs> she just started filming you yeah. and laughing at you <laughs> yeah, and laughing at <laughs> wait did you cry when you watched the bow do you remember i well i wasn't there that was three years ago <laughs> wait 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 Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. I'm so, wait, wait, wait. I'm so, wait, wait. John does a YouTube so clip come up. The Hold on. Okay. I thought you went to the Masters. No, I did. I did go to the Masters on Wednesday. Okay. But I was, I was explaining to her how miraculous and how the course is so gorgeous. And, yeah. and I was like, actually, and I told her the story about of, three of years this ago. moment of three years ago. Yeah. You can, yeah. hey, look it up. See if you can look it up. Hideki Matsuyami. Uh, caddy bow, yeah. I do, but but crying is good. Oh it's my god, it's a good feeling. Oh, there's a video of it. There has to have, obviously. There's a video of it. Uh, go down. There it is, right there. See, he wins. He finally wins, right there. Look, he turns to the course. Respect. <laughs> and that's the caddy. Yeah, it's the caddy. Oh my god. See, you're it's like gonna a cry. Two second clip. <laughs> That was not as dramatic a bow as I thought it was going to be. He just kind of like looked down at his shoe. Honestly, like, oh. yeah, it kind of looked like he was just like shaking off something. Maybe he, his wasn't, yeah, yeah. 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 he wasn't bowing at all. Had some Dang dust it. in his hair. And he's like, mm. I do be crying for a lot, all kinds of stuff. But I, I totally, it totally makes sense. People cry about in sports and all the yeah. time. It is very emotional. Right. But why, why would you say you were attracted to a guy that cries? Does your boyfriend cry or no? Oh my God, dude. He he uh, he cries. He cries. Uh, like he does. He lets, and it's 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 attractive because it's like you're just uh, accepting the emotions that are happening. You're not fighting them off. Yeah, it's, it's so I love someone. I that. love someone who laughs a lot. Oh yeah. Just let it. Let just it. Let it go. Let what it are we go. doing? What are we doing? You know. Who are you like, hiding that from? Let it. Let it. Yeah. You know. And then so he he lets any movie. I do too. I do too. You know, let it, let it, let let like, it flow through you. Like uh, the movie Click. Yeah, the Adam Sandler remote control one. <laughs> yeah, um, I hadn't seen it in so long. Say like Titanic or something. Um, like I definitely <laughs> cried at that movie yeah. too. Yeah. For Click. sure. You know, for sure. I haven't seen. It, I haven't seen it. So it's like 
it's really good, you know? Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's, it's all about like, you know, the things important in life are family, not work. Like yeah, your family yeah. is, and he realizes like he didn't spend enough time and it's very emotional. So like when the scenes where it's designed to make you cry, he's like, bawling. <laughs> yeah. And he doesn't try to hold it in. He just lets good it. Good for him. So. Uh, that needs to be the new era of uh, men. Yeah. Like yeah. why, why? How long were you with him before you realized that, that he's crying like that? He uh, cried and then she and goes, then date it. me now. Yeah. He yeah. cried. Uh, Let's lock this up. No, he cried early on. Maybe j just uh, on our second date. No, no, wow. no, no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, no. <laughs> you know, no, no, no. He's like, hey, I'm like, glad that you said I have a boyfriend on this podcast, but <laughs> the, the rest of it, I wasn't, I wasn't too happy about. No, I think <laughs> I knew, I knew early on and I liked it and I told him I liked it. Um, so, and, and I, I cry easily too. Yeah. You know, I, I cry when like, uh, if I know we're not going to see each other for a while, mm. when you know you have a lot of travel coming up, yeah, yeah. I, I, I preemptively cry. Oh, you get it out <laughs> early. Like before Smart. the moment you say goodbye. Yeah. It, like it's like you thought about that moment three years ago. I think about the future and I start crying. So you're planning oh. your you're planning your fun and you're planning your. That's tears. how I plan as a woman. Mm -hmm. I I, <laughs> I cry. Yeah. I pl I cry before it even happens. Yeah. Sometimes you don't really know. You don't really quite know what the emotion is. Oh, it's just overwhelmed. It's deep. just like over. You're like, what am I? I'm not sad for this. Like, if you're crying at like a country concert, you're like, I didn't grow up like this. I it's, didn't grow up in a lake. I don't even know why I'm crying. Because <laughs> I do think about like sometimes people are so happy they cry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to. There, there's got to be stuff about that. Like, why is that the physical? Yeah. How come your body shuts down when you're so happy you cry? You don't know. Yeah. Why is that the? Why is that the expression? Yeah. Of, of your yeah. I mean, anger, you understand, like, throwing something or something. That would be like, oh, that makes sense. That'd be super funny, though, if you're so happy you get angry. <laughs> <laughs> She's <gonna> throw stuff. <laughs> like go. Leo wins yeah, in yeah. his first Oscar and just throws <laughs> it. <laughs> that is a good feeling. Yeah. But it is, uh, it's Sometimes, I, yeah, if I've ever cried out of happiness. You never have? Not probably, yeah. You know, like, at a wedding... If you you if you see your best friends get married, yeah, it yeah. overwhelms you. You cry. I feel I cry when I, I, I think a sign of, and maybe it's a comic thing, but you can really, you can, maybe it's empathy. You can connect with other people's feelings. Mm -hmm. Like if you see mm -hmm. someone sad, you can, yeah, yeah, be sad. It sounds like we're, we're robots trying to explain empathy. <laughs> Have you ever heard uh, uh, when you yeah. uh, someone else feels something and then it's like. <laughs> contagious like it rubs on your shoulder they're like yeah and, dude. <laughs> I know, but i do yes empathy yes yeah some people don't cry they're like oh, i've never cried before uh yeah like you're you're happy for someone is a nice feeling oh, yeah. there's there is a lot of you know what there's a lot of these days on uh tiktok is a lot of people crying on camera they so film themselves trend? they film themselves crying yeah I and then people make fun of it a lot of people make fun of it uh, like the video you just showed us of you. Well, that's the, he wasn't. <laughs> no, people filming themselves. People filming themselves. Like you're right, so right. sad, and then you set up your camera. You're like, all right, well, you're not that sad. Yeah, that's crazy. You're the goal not that just sad. to like get sympathy, I guess, or get yeah. really. And we uh, five seconds ago we we're like we empathize with others, and now I see that and I go, <laughs> no, <laughs> boo, because, because it's like uh, manufactured. It's like if you're yeah, asking, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. ask for empathy. Yeah, I don't and think you, can't you just cry. give yeah. it. Well. Listen, if you start keep going down this road of comedy and then you start being an actor, which I know you were in Central Intelligence. Dang, I looked up a lot of things. Oh, no, I I, I worked on right. the production. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. I know. But it was it's technically on my IMDb because yeah, I saw it. I was on I was like part of the crew. Oh, you were? Yeah. <laughs> I was I was not in it. Central for Intelligence sure. with The Rock <laughs> yeah. and Kevin Hart. Nice. But yeah. I went I went to the set, yeah. you know. I hung out there, but uh But if you start if you start acting, then you're going to have to cry. So that's part of it. Uh, that's going to be hard, dude. Yeah, because they say, like, think about something sad. Like, think about your dog dying or something. Have you ever acted in a cry and did a crying <laughs> no, thing? No. People were really? like, that's John Christ. <laughs> no. <laughs> they were you like, have no. to play the bowing video. I don't buy it. Yeah, just think about the bowing bit. You obviously know what crying. to think about, yeah. right? You know what I mean? <laughs> Do you want to go down the acting road? Is where you want to be? I'm totally open to it. I'm yeah. down. I don't think I'm going to. Like if if I get cool jobs, also like people have to let me be in their projects. So if anyone that invites me, 
Yeah. And I think it's awesome how I do it. But I don't think I'm going to become Adam Sandler. Yeah. You know? You have to dress like him. <laughs> I wouldn't mind it. Because yeah. he dresses for function. Now, that guy does not give any effort. Just high school phys ed t-shirts. Zero I, But I do appreciate dressing for function and comfort. Yeah. I respect that. He's wearing like basketball shorts and like a and like a and like a polo shirt, yeah. <laughs> like a collared shirt. It's yeah, a, like a mom it's like boss he can't going decide to the yeah. who he wants to be. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> this week's episode brought to you by Rocket Money. Did you find any subscriptions you forgot about, or do you have any paid that you didn't think twice and realized it? What? Yes. Yeah, tons of them. I got we've do, well documented. Yeah, I got all kind of things that I'm buying subscriptions for. Facetune. Mm. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway. <laughs> Facetune, airbrush, uh, Rocket Money. Uh, get them in charge of your finances, ladies and gentlemen. They will find all your subscriptions, cancel the ones you don't need, or at minimum, let you know the ones you have. Nearly seventy-five percent of people have subscriptions they've forgotten about. Yikes. That's crazy. Before I started using Rocket Money, I thought about, oh man, did I, I? I probably have at least forty. I think I told you the other day. I had three Spotify accounts. Did I tell you that? <laughs> That's great. I was paying nine ninety nine a month for That's like free money. a year and a half That's for Spotify. That's free money. Thanks to Rocket Money, I'm no longer wasting any money on the. I mean, I'm wasting money. But sure. I know yes. what money I'm wasting. Right. right. Yeah. Uh, we did this thing. We bought this app where you could see what your kids look like. Oh yeah. That's a waste of money. Yeah. That's a waste of money. Yeah. But I have since canceled it. Actually. How do they look, by the way? Uh, well, it was a cute looking kid, but had spiked hair, and there's like that's not. <laughs> I, I feel like they didn't have enough information. <laughs> <laughs> Use the bowl cut photo. Oh, yeah. They're the, I was like, hey, this is not a representative of me. Uh, subscriptions, they'll pay. They'll, I've long since forgotten about Rocket Money helped me cancel some of them. And now I'm finally starting to see my account balance go up, baby. I've always struggled with finding time to manage my finances. That ain't the truth. Mm. At the end of a busy week, the last thing I want to do is spend money on budgeting all of my expenses. What a nerd. Or tracking down <laughs> customer service to cancel subscriptions. Not doing that. Not you spending time budgeting. Ew. No, dude. Absolutely not. This is not. way We're trying to be in the pod studio, baby. Yeah. Uh, now he's Rocket Money, and it does it all for me. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills. Baby, Rocket Money will eventually, uh, will, or oh, sorry, Rocket Money will even try to negotiate to lower your bills for you uh, by up to 20%, which is unbelievable. All you have to do is submit a picture of your bill. Rocket Money will take care of the rest, and they deal with customer service for you. That is unbelievable. That's huge. Because that's the worst part of canceling stuff is they I'm make gonna, it hard on purpose because yeah. they know you won't put up the time, put nah, the time in. Do yeah, and every time if you do have the time, they'll do it. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. All you have to do is just have the time. Yep, and you know, Rocket people, Money gives you the time. There's people on TikTok, I got time today. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped its members save an average of $740 a year with over 500 million in cancel. My goodness, in Crazy. cancel subscriptions. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash net positive. That's rocketmoney.com slash net positive. Rocketmoney.com slash net positive or hit the link in the episode description below. Who's your favorite comedian? Oh. Uh, it's I don't even know if I have like an all-timer. Yeah. Um, I mean, just because we're in Nashville, I do love Nate Bargatze, obviously. Hey. Obviously. You he's know? our guy. Because I love, I love, uh, obviously he's like the best, but like I love any any comic who I feel like, I feel like they're just talking. Yeah, they're not trying to do a thing. I don't feel like they're trying so hard to yeah. make this perfect sentence that they like broke down over years. Like it's he's truly the best at that. just like he's the best at that. And either, either, whether he's doing it or not, like if it's a magic trick, I believe it. I'm in it. You yeah, know, yeah. I'm like I think he's just talking. Um, this is like yeah, that's know? the best. Well, I feel like that's the best and worst thing about comedy because you see somebody at the top of uh, the game of basketball or baseball you're like i could never do that you see someone at the top yeah. of the game of comedy you're like i could do that because they make it look so regular yeah that's what's that's what's so great Nate about is it so good because he's, he's so, so regular yeah he's so, <laughs> or he's so i don't know if it's an yeah yeah he's a three alarm yeah it's funny because that wouldn't work in sports <laughs> mm -mm. like the most regular players that's why we watch the masters because like i could never do that that's, that's incredible i i know nothing about like uh sports meaning like teams players stats nothing but i love sports 
as like an institution and a value system. That they exist, yeah. Because yeah, I, yeah. I love watching whatever Olympics, like wh whoever is like the best that they possibly can be at yeah. something is like. And you're like, you've dedicated the last nine years of your life to this, like awesome. Yeah, yeah I'm into it. And yeah. I love, because you know, people people cry when they win a game or they win yeah. a championship. Oh, yeah. But Even if you're, if you're a fan, you your team wins, you yes. cry. Oh, that yeah. crying might just be like built up emotion. You just like you purge. Yeah, relief. You're just like, Maybe. oh, I'm done. Yeah. Like the tension is over. The stress yeah. is over. Yeah. yeah. Just cry. Well, the best part about like, I think it was uh, like how dopamine goes into your brain is when, when, you're, when your brain gets the idea that you're going in the right direction. So like you, oh. you probably remember where you were when they, they emailed you and said you got to Tonight Show. Yeah. And that was probably yeah. better than doing it. It was just as good. Yeah, getting yeah, your wow. like, because when you receive a validation that you are winning, you get it. Like somebody says, you 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 got a raise. You're like, yeah. You don't even have the money, mm -hmm. you, or like, hey, you you got the contract or you got the know, gig. You didn't dude. even do it yet. Mm -hmm. But I get that when I get like a shipment confirmation email. <laughs> <laughs> that I get a dopamine. I go, oh. It's on the way, dude. Wait, shit, that's oh, hilarious. Oh, it's coming to me, and I track. I track oh, every yeah, shipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I track yeah. every shipment, and Wait. the closer it gets to me, my dopamine. That's Goes my Molly. Roof. Oh yeah, that's, that's your Molly. Molly. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> <I'm> gonna, <laughs> I'll meet the delivery guy outside. I want. I want him to hand it to me. Wait, I was like, I, I camped that's overnight. Hilarious. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. Okay, so you, yeah, all right. What I, you you press buy, right? <laughs> Whatever you, you press buy, wherever it is, and then you first get a. Email. I love the emails. Mm -hmm. the The email said your transaction went through, right? Yeah. And then what's next? And then they say it's shipped. But then, they like a couple days what, later, listen. meaning and they go, "Hey, we're coming. Here's yeah. where it's at. It'll tell you the city it's in. Guess what? It's in. It's in Pennsylvania. I, I, because I ordered, I ordered it <laughs> from Etsy. I, I'm into I, this. I'm into this. Yeah. Because do you shop online? Of course. Of okay. Course. So. I uh and the t I mean I keep mentioning Target. <laughs> Target has a fantastic online ship shipment uh, communication yeah. system. A lot of our um listeners boycott Target, but go ahead. Oh well, I'm <laughs> I'm going to fix That's that. A joke. Yeah, That's a joke. That. <laughs> <laughs> Did they really? No, no, I don't think okay. so. Some do. I don't know. Who knows? Um, but yeah, they 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 send you little updates of like where it's at and you can track how far it is oh, and yeah, they yeah. give you the targeted date. Like yeah. here's where we think this is when it's going to get there. Oh, yeah. And I love to make sure I'm home. That whole thing's a dopamine rush. Yeah. The whole, the whole process. But I'm being tricked by like consumerism, I think. Nah. To, to think. Keep you going. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a, yeah. If you, so if you say uh, we're playing golf and they say, hey, after we're going to go get a, uh, you want to get pizza after this, right? So you, you get done the 18th hole, you bow to the course. <laughs> of course. And you, you're like, you start, you've been thinking about pizza for 10 holes, right? Mm -hmm. You on the way, you get all the way to the place, doors locked. It's such oh. a deflate. It's, it hurts so much more. You're like, well, Chipotle's yeah. right here. We're like, no, we already That's, had, yeah. we already had this dopamine situation going on. So if you, they box, it goes, hey, it's lost. Mm -hmm. You're like, but you never even had it in the first place, but in your mind, you had it. I mm -hmm. mean, we had this thing in LA, no. like me and my boyfriend tried to get bagels one morning in LA. Sunday morning in LA, there's only like three bagels. Oh, LA's yeah. not huge on bagels. There's that one on, uh, right on Santa Monica. Uh, oh, what's it called? Ah, I forgot what I used to go there all the time. I don't know. I, but it's like, bagels are great, you know? Yeah. And in, in our little brains, we thought we could just stroll into this very popular bagel spot on a Sunday morning oh, yeah. and just go in and out. And we go to two separate bagel places on the east side of LA. Nothing. 50 people in line. We couldn't even get a parking spot at either. Oh. So we left and I was very disappointed. And you wanted to bagel. You don't even eat bagels. I don't even eat bagels. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. But out, we, were, we happened to be in the mood and we, we tried two strikes and then we just went to like a coffee shop and I got like a scone. Oh, I know, right? Ugh, I got a matcha scone, which You're is like, why? Even, what's the point of <laughs> Ew, living? What? <laughs> what's the point of living? And I remember eating this overpriced matcha scone and being like disappointed and then being disgusted at myself. Yes. <laughs> like I, I've, I've created this circumstance where I can afford a matcha scone yeah. and be like, this isn't what I wanted. Like <laughs> now, now she's impersonating herself. Yes, yeah. that's yeah. me. Yeah. So you're allowed to do that. <laughs> that's me. If it's you, you're allowed to do yes. that. Yeah.
Yeah. I can't impersonate you, but. Um, you can try. Do you want to give it yeah. a shot? No, no, no. I'm oh, good. okay. Are you sure? <laughs> it's a camera right over here. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you like that, that's the idea that, that, and then the opposite, if someone, you know, they, uh, you submit for some festival and they decline you or ticket mm-hmm. sales aren't the way that we, you, you take it the opposite way. Like it really means nothing in the grand scheme of you're like, this is a notch. Against I love me. that philosophy. Nothing means anything. Mm. So let's let's not stress out about like assigning so much meaning to every like or ticket Everything, sale. Yeah, because uh, you know you're gonna kill much. yourself. You're gonna die. That yeah. is true. Yeah, <laughs> like we're gonna. Yeah. Um, but if you I remember during what kind of, what what, what oh, we lived in L.A. like during COVID. What were you guys doing comedy wise? I just not doing shows. I did Zoom shows. I stayed in LA all of the Gosh, pandemic. I lived did? alone. I did Zoom shows. The I, whole time? <laughs> pretty much, dude. I had no idea what was going to happen. I love that you're owning it. Like, I did Zoom shows. I, I'm sorry. Leslie Liao, I did Zoom shows in the pandemic. Um, you didn't do any? Oh, no, I didn't do any. <laughs> I know. I did not do any Zoom shows. We barely locked down here. It was, yeah. <laughs> wasn't really a thing. Did you guys have a lockdown here? Yeah, two quick. weeks. Real quick. How long was it? Oh, you guys, you guys only did the two weeks and then everyone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like we we were all the like wiping groceries down crowd in LA. Like we all. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. But the Zoom shows like they kind of obviously it doesn't help your live stand up, but it did make you like sharper because. Yeah, you had to do exactly your, your like, jokes. People like. A Zoom show is crazy. But I, but I would still do crowd work in a Zoom show. <laughs> For real, like I would, because people, people didn't mute, <laughs> people didn't, they didn't mute themselves, right? You so can't, because then so you they're would, like, yeah. John, I'm on a Zoom. Yeah, she's not that funny. Should I hang up? Are you, I don't know why I do that accent all the time. Uh, yeah. So then they would, the they would like from earlier. accidentally heckle you because they're not on mute. Oh, that's the best. And then I would, and this is the thing, you know, all their names. Oh, so you, you can, can call it. out, you're like, what was that, Julian? You can, you can call out their name. Like, <laughs> and then I would joke, you know. Yeah, you have to. I had, I, that's all we had. That's all we, yeah, because that, you, we were so, if you, now you do a show and it's not sold out or something at a theater, we're like, well, remember, we were so grateful for like the West Side, how many seats is that theater? Like 50? Yeah, it's not, not even 100, I don't know. Not think. even 100. And you, well, let's say you put it in like a fourth for uh, like distance, like social distancing. It's like, 20 and you were like thrilled <laughs> yeah yeah i was doing shows i did zanies at like a third capacity which is like 75 people mm-hmm. and i was like this is unbelievable <laughs> and you i didn't cried. care i was like i was so grateful you know so i was yeah. like i think thank you what's up yeah. and they're like everybody being separated in at a comedy crowd is not not <laughs> ideal i know because we like uh comedians are creepy we like tight spaces yeah, and yeah, dark yeah. rooms yeah. we want the low ceiling we like the audience to be touching each other oh yeah you know yeah, yeah. like they say it like that <laughs> <laughs> i can't know I, I don't but we like yeah we like them to be dark tight and yeah. cozy yeah, yeah yeah we don't it's like about everybody bright them. outdoors <laughs> standing, up. <laughs> standing up no yeah their faces are half covered it was yeah. a nightmare i didn't, didn't i think nate has told stories about going and doing uh <laughs> doing shows at drive-ins so they're all in their cars yeah Bert was doing that too Bert was doing it yeah yeah, yeah. i'm they sure would, they were crushing it they then. were like honk when it was a funny yeah yep. but i'm sure they still crushed it and they found a way well look at all of them now yeah look at their cup like they must have learned something it made them tougher at, yeah probably but uh ah, the drive-ins are tough yeah but now you're doing it when is zany's the zany's shows in like in an hour huh? i have it tonight uh I think it'll be fine. And then where are you going? Here. <laughs> this is me hyping up. Yeah. This is this live because I love people uh, buy tickets. We're gonna after your show's already done, then this comes out, so it Perfect. helps you. Okay, and, great. Helps okay, you great. zero. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry. So it helps me zero. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. It's it's in a couple of hours. But you're on the road everywhere. I'm going everywhere tomorrow. I'm going to Austin for Moon Tower Comedy Fest. Oh what? Yeah. I've never done Austin. Oh yeah. I think it'll be. I mean, it's a really it's a legit festival, so it'll be fun. This drops tomorrow. Oh yeah, Moon Tower, uh, sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it, this it drops tomorrow? tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, if you want to plug it in. Yeah. Um, what if it's like this comes out in August? Yeah, <laughs> so, it never comes out. Yeah. I don't even. I don't even. <laughs> know if I'll be doing stand up by then. 
But um, <laughs> what do you go on the road for a long period of time? I'm gonna you I go back and forth, right? For the rest of my life, I'm gonna do it. Stay on the road. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's like it's kind of like because people do ask like, when's the tour over? I'm like, it never was really over. They ask me that. You too. just call it a new name and yeah. do a different venue Keep and going. You it's never over. You so, go to the same city, it'll be new every time. Different you Different venue, same city. same city. But I said they were like, man, your tour dates are crazy. But then I would always be like, well, your tour dates are. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, oh, like, that's someone wild. with a normal job is what I'm saying. Oh, they're oh, like, oh. this looks like a lot of touring. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, well, you Well, you're in 10 meetings a day for five <laughs> yeah. days a week. And then and then you gotta do you gotta work for eight hours. And then the mm -hmm. next day it's work so for eight gross. hours. Did you ever have like a full like a day job? Um, yeah, I worked at a marketing company in sales. <sighs> I yeah, yeah, I had day jobs too. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you worked in HR. I yeah. And at Brillstein, shout out to Brillstein. Oh, you worked in HR Brillstein? Um, no, 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 not not. I just worked in the yeah. mailroom or something like that. I was, yeah, I was like an assistant. That was disrespectful. That I was, yeah. Said the mail room. They don't um, even have the mailroom anymore. That's an old thing, isn't it? I think I used to work in the mailroom. They don't do that. I actually started in a mailroom at a management company. I, really? I I don't know if they must still have a mailroom type of thing. The the equivalent, yeah. Um, probably maybe they just rebranded it. It's not called the mailroom. Yeah. This, I don't know, but so, um, yeah. Um, that, that well, that so you watched and you would be like, I can do better than this. With stand up, like, I'll do. It. I can do this myself. That's pretty much what happened. Yeah, I like that energy. Like in I LA, like I always love stand up, so I went to shows all the time in LA. And then the first time I saw a bad stand up show, uh, in LA, I'd never seen bad live comedy. This is exactly the same thing happened to me. Exact same. Yeah. Keep you tell her. So so I. I stumbled upon the show and it was like a beginner stand up class. So they weren't meant to be good. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I didn't yeah, know yeah. that. Oh. So yeah. then I saw this some is the exact same thing happened to me. Yeah. Yeah. So so you And you, then you go, oh. I go, what are you kidding me? <laughs> like anyone can just go up there. Because ah. I was only watching like yeah. Kevin Nealon. Uh, yes. So I, I was so watching I was, watch I was watching like uh Chris Rock, Kevin Hart, and like Cat Williams. Is Jesus my favorite Christ. comedy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody says so you're that. watching them being like, yeah, and just I killing, can never do that. Just of course killing, I can. Yeah. But I was so mesmerized by it. Yeah. I go, this, I mean, when I first saw I'd go, this is yeah. unbelievable. And then I went to an open mic, mm -hmm. not, to, not to try it. I was just curious about it. And it was oh. like, and I went in and I go, it's, oh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and that's a, this is our profession, so we're not we're like outing ourselves here, kind yeah, of. Yeah. I was like, oh, I could do that. Yeah, You're like I could fumble my words. I mean, and this make is no they one were, laugh. It was at the Laughing Skull Lounge. It was like yeah. a, a new like Monday night mm -hmm. open mic night, and it was like, and I went to them. It was probably not the next week. It was probably three weeks down the road. I went the next week, and I went the next week. Nice, just to kind of build yet. up my. Yeah, no, I didn't sign up yet. So then I go, hey. I want to, I, the front desk lady or whoever, I go, I, I, uh, I want to do it. She goes, you want to do it? I go, yeah. She goes, June 24th, oh, nice. 2009. And I, that's the first time I ever did it. Wait, so you have to sign up like days in advance? Yeah, I think it was like a- <laughs> That was yeah. the last thing you ever scheduled. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> of course it was a woman who was like, let me yeah. put you on the calendar. When would you like to do the yeah, open mic? Yeah, no guy. Because every, yeah. every male comic just shows no up on a mic yeah, like, no can I do it either. now? Is there a woman I can bump <laughs> on the roster tonight? <laughs> She's like, no, we have a schedule, sir. Can I do it? Yeah. Now? I want to go. I'm up ready next. to do comedy now. Okay. It's a caveman now. I know. I know. I'm ready to do comedy now. I ready do comedy. Okay. Yeah. No, but yeah, I think you, I think, but that's, I would imagine that's every profession. Every guess, profession you see and go, I mean, it would be the same, I'm guessing, for sports. I mean, you probably played young, though. You got to start somewhere. You go to the profession. driving range, yeah. you go, you go to Top Golf, you're like, I'm better than that guy. <laughs> you find it later though. Comedy, I feel like you find later than like yeah. how many nine year olds are doing stand up. Yeah, no. You know, there's not like youth leagues. Yeah, it, that I guess you come up the whole time in. So right. yeah, you yeah. can't really be a comic before like you graduate at least. Not because you just don't know how to where to do it. But with, yeah, with everything though, it's like you gotta start somewhere. So you're always gonna yeah. start bad. Everyone's yeah. bad. At Everybody. Every, at everything. I'm sure there's I'm sure there's people that have started restaurants that they worked at a restaurant. They go, mm -hmm. oh, I could do this better than the next guy for sure. Yeah. So we were both inspired by terrible com comedy. I wonder who those were, who they were. 
I I I I think about them all the time because they <laughs> they inspired me. Yes, I don't know any of their names. I don't know I, I any. Don't, I, there's no way I wouldn't recognize them if no, I saw where was them. It? Whatever. It was at the Hollywood Improv. Really? Oh, only because the improv, like they allowed, oh, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. it wasn't like they didn't produce it. They just yeah. allowed them to do it at their venue. Yeah. So in my mind, and I was this like, was back, like, yeah, back before. <sighs> this was seven, eight years ago. So in the Hollywood improv now, you have had a little bit of experience to get up there. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's it was like a different time. They just lended their venue. They're like, like in sure, 2017, your... 16 or yeah. something like that. And it was also, I should have known, it was like a 4 p.m. show. <laughs> so I should have known. It was <laughs> like a, a matinee yeah, comedy yeah. show. And I was like, yeah, let's check this out. And I was like uh, appalled. I was appalled. Gosh, that's crazy. We have the same story. And then what yeah. did you do from then? You went to, you went somewhere? Immedi- I, I started a, I enrolled in like a writing workshop class. So I did yeah. the whole writing and then just did open mics, open mics and stayed in the writing thing and kept writing and just kept doing it. Um, but yeah, it's weird how you're you go, inspired uh, yeah, by. You're like, oh, I could do that. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. the greats that got us to be like, yeah. It was, you, you, but that's why you got me into stand up. Yeah. Or like I liked Became the art fans, form of it. Yeah. yeah hardcore yeah, yeah. fans. Yeah. But I wonder, I don't know if it works like that in sports. Like if a golfer yeah. watches like a yeah. <laughs> goes to like a putt putt course and is like, what the f-? Oh, like, I'm, I'm gonna start taking like over. some seven year old kid is that. like, oh f- you, I could do that. <laughs> yeah. And then just goes. And he, that's he's like, and you you propelled me to greatness. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, there's a lot of ups and downs in, in comedy that uh yeah, you just yeah. The, the, the longer I'm doing it, the longer I'm I'm grateful that i am still doing it and that i still i I like it more nate we were i was playing golf with nate the other day Mm -hmm. and he goes i love it more than i ever have oh that's beautiful did you cry i would have cried (sighs) i'm crying (laughs) that he just likes the (laughs) likes the idea of a joke why it works why it doesn't work how the Mm -hmm. next night how to uh, tighten it up a little bit so it does work Mm -hmm. why like the, the like after after the comedy set with the guys that i opened for we i want to talk about it yeah. What yeah. this happened? Yeah, what yeah. like what happened to this one? Yeah. It never gets old. Never. It hasn't for me. I think it's the same, probably the same for you, but I don't know it I don't when people say like I'm addicted, are you addicted to it? I don't think I don't know if it's that, but it's like I just can't stop. I'm compelled to do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe that is an addiction. Yeah. Is it? A, I just defined addiction. I just I can't, uh, <laughs> can't quit it. And I've, uh, yeah, I just ignored uh, my family. I've alienated and, my loved uh, ones and family yeah, and friends and yeah. uh, sacrificed my health. But I'm not addicted. It's to not it, a, yeah. it's addiction. <laughs> yeah. Let me be clear. It's yeah. not addiction. I just, I'm just doing one show tonight I, and then there's a show after me and I'm going to go on that show and then, and then I'm going to go tomorrow to do another show at another area of the country. I but just I'm can't to it. Uh, live without it and I can't. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm going to start crying. But yeah, it's just, you just your body does it. Yeah, that's the way to, that's what you know, to Like a bird yeah. flies. Yeah. And listen, now a lot of people are going to come out to your show and they're going to say, do you meet people after the show or no? I, it depends on the trap, my travel schedule. So tonight I'm going to try. Oh, yeah. Also, I'm just doing the show after. But I, I try to meet people if I go to a city for the first time. Yeah. To well, be like, like, I'll tell all my fans to go out and see uh, Leslie. Where should, we, where should they find you on socials? Uh, uh, my website is leslieliao.com. Yeah. And that links to all the silly social stuff. Liao, like Lee, the uh, clothing brand. Yes. And then, a- plus. Yeah. And then Al, something like you, you say hurt. when you fall. Yeah. And you said. I, I say my last name is Liao, Liao like, like Meow. And I go, oh, yeah, that's a better way. <laughs> no, you, you, you got that figured out more than it's I. It's Chris, yeah. like Kerr, and then yeah. like Ist. That's, yeah. They're like, that's you were doing the same um, words, dude. What's that game? Oh. Not charades, but not Pictionary. Um, you were doing like Pictionary with my name. Oh, yeah. Lee. You're like, Ow. okay, two yeah. syllables. Yeah. Lee. <laughs> Lee. I was like, I know how to say it. Yeah. Like, you know? <laughs> I'll take it from here. <laughs> Lee Alec Mio. Uh, grateful to have you on the pod. Uh, good luck tonight at Zane. I'm going to come through tonight. Thank you. Oh, and hell the, yeah. Thank yeah, you. and then uh, there are going to be a lot of people that have come out to your shows, and they're going to say, we saw you on the Net Positive podcast. Hell yeah. And shout yeah, out to go. Kid Rock. And Kid, <laughs> shout out to Kid Rock. Here, yeah. uh, thank both you. of them. Come you. to both of them. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Leslie. Sure, Great to see you. It's a little you. weird, but on the net, net on the, on the, it, it, it was a positive. Was, was a positive. <laughs> you cannot be serious. On, on the net, it's a positive. <laughs>